The first reason why I think you may prefer using adjustment clip to apply fusion effect rather than applying the fusion effect directly through the video clip is because of precision and time saving. So in this video clip that we are looking at right here, if we go ahead and take it to the fusion page and we go ahead and also apply a text effect, a text effect that will only affect a, a, a very small part of this entire video clip because we only want it to show up uh, you know, in this specific part uh, of the video. Now, if we go ahead and go back to the edit page, you will notice that although this effect is very specific to this part of the video, this entire video is now being processed for this effect. So this may not be ideal if you have a, uh, you know, if you don't have a fast system or if you have a very long clip. Now, as opposed to, let's say, using adjustment clip, um, not only can we be very specific about, about which part of the video we want the effect to be applied to, but also, let's say, we go ahead and apply the same effect to it, uh, you know, to the adjustment clip, and we come back to it, you will notice that this entire video is not being affected. And it doesn't require the entire video clip, uh, clip to process this, uh, you know, this fusion text effect. So it definitely allow us to be more precise and also uh, save, uh, save some time. Now, let's say we want to get rid of the effect, uh, which we have applied, you know, directly through this video clip. Uh, yes, we can definitely just come back to the fusion page and remove the notes. But the thing is that uh, it's not very to retrieve later on if you decide to bring back the effect because you have to reapply all these nodes uh, uh, once again. And also, even if you do remove all these nodes, when you come back to this video clip, you will notice that it will still require it to process this entire video. So it can be a little bit frustrating from time to time, especially if you have a lot of clips like this. In contrast to, let's say, having an adjustment clip, which has the same effect, if you don't want this effect to apply, to be applied, you can just simply turn off this track and this will shut off the effect. And let's say if you do want to bring it back later on, simply turn it back on and now you have the effect uh, right away. And also, let's say you do decide to get rid of this permanently, you can just simply remove the adjustment clip. It's easy like that. Another reason why I think you may prefer using adjustment clip to apply the fusion effect rather than through the actual video clip is because of freeze frame. And I've personally had a lot of experience with this. So in this particular video clip that we have, if we go ahead and apply a freeze frame effect and we take it to the fusion page, what you will notice is that on the fusion timeline, we're not seeing this, uh, this freeze frame effect at all. Uh, this freeze, freeze frame effect is not reflected uh, on the fusion page and all we can do is just apply a effect to the frame which we have freeze framed and if we do that uh, and we come back to the edit page what you'll notice that is that this effect will just carry throughout this entire uh, freeze frame there's no way for us to decide let's say at some point during the freeze frame we don't want this effect to continue or let's say we want to use a different effect about halfway through this freeze frame so there's no way for us to customize it uh, because as we saw earlier, the freeze frame is not reflected in the uh, fusion timeline. So this is not gonna be a problem if let's say we go ahead and apply adjustment clip. Um, so if we bring our adjustment clip on top of it, uh, first of all, you can decide very easily as what point you want the effect to show up. So if we go ahead and let's say apply a, a similar effect uh, through our adjustment clip and we go back to our edit page you will notice is that a, about a few seconds into the, the freeze frame our effect uh, starts to actually show up and also we can decide let's say about halfway through uh, the freeze frame we want another text to show up and we can do that easily as well uh, because once again adjustment clip is independent of the actual video clip uh, that's that we are applying effect to so you will notice is that uh, about halfway through the freeze frame, now our second text starts to appear. So uh, there are just so many different things you can do if you use adjustment clip. You're not limited uh, by the, 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 the limitations that we experience uh, if we uh, have a freeze frame and we apply the fusion effect directly through the video clip. Another reason I think it's better to use adjustment uh, clip to apply fusion effect is well, 
in this example, if we go ahead and let's say uh, zoom in a little bit uh, on this video clip, uh, because let's say we just decided to do that uh, for our video editing. And if we take it to the Fusion page, what you'll notice right away is that this other zooming uh, change is not reflected uh, on the Fusion page. So any effect that you apply, if we go back to the edit page, you will see that it got blown up and the text effect got blown up because uh, the effect that we have applied through the Fusion page is not translating directly uh, to our edit page. Now, this is uh, in contrast to, let's say, if we use uh, adjustment clip, uh, and what you will notice is that uh, the same zoomed in look that you have on the edit page will also directly translate to the Fusion page. Uh, they are exactly the same. Therefore, any effect that you apply uh, through the Fusion page uh, it will also be accurately reflected on the edit page. So if we go ahead and apply our text effect right here, and if we go back to the edit page, you will see that they are the exact same size. You don't have to worry about it being blown up and what have you. So this is another big reason I think that it's beneficial to use adjustment clip to apply fusion effect. One last thing I wanna talk about is the wonky timeline that you may see when you use adjustment clip to apply fusion effect. So right now you will notice that the starting frame and ending frame are just extremely large and they are very difficult to read and seems like fusion has added a lot of extra frames uh, for some reason. Uh, and uh, this is very different than let's say if we use the actual video clip you will notice a much more normal looking starting frame, ending frame, and the timeline are extremely easy to, to, to read uh, compared to the one that we saw earlier. Unfortunately, this is the case, uh, no matter how many adjustment clips you have. So if we go ahead and set up uh, right now another adjustment clip um, in our timeline, and we go ahead and take our second adjustment into the Fusion page, you will, notice the, you will notice the same weird looking timeline, same large uh, starting frame. So from my experience, this has to do with your timeline frame rate. So depending on your uh, timeline play, uh, frame rate, you may have different large starting frame, but they are all very weird looking and they're all uh, uh, difficult to read. So now before I get to the solution, I just want to quickly also mention that the way you calculate time though, the way you, cal the way you set up keyframe, is the same. Therefore, I'm kind of you kind of used to this large frame. Uh, so let's say right now our timeline uh, frame rate is 30 frames per second. So if we move our uh, playhead about 30 frames into the timeline, now if we go back to the edit page, you will notice that now we effectively moved our playhead about a second into the adjustment clip. So this, the way you calculate time, uh, the way you set up keyframe, is exactly the same. So now, if we go ahead and take our adjustment clip and move it to the media pool, and then we're gonna get rid of our original adjustment clip, and then we're gonna move our new adjustment clip back into the original place in the timeline. Now, if we take to the Fusion page, you will notice that this has effectively replaced that large uh, starting frame, ending frame that we saw earlier with a much more normal looking uh, a timeline, a more looking starting frame, ending frame. So. But once again, you know, the way you calculate uh, time, the way you set up keyframes is exactly the same. It's just much easier to read. So now if we go ahead and move to the 30 frame mark and it'll move it back to the timeline, you will notice that this is effectively one second into the adjustment clip. So once again, the way uh, it's just the numbers uh, that, that, are, that will look a little bit different. Uh, but uh, if this is much easier work to work with uh, for you, feel free to use this solution. So hope this helps guys and I will see you in the next video.